Hi students, good morning. Welcome to Biology class. In previous video, we have started with Kingdom Fungi. Before that, we have completed Kingdom Monera and Kingdom Protista. Now we are in Kingdom Fungi. So in Kingdom Fungi, fungi it lives in everywhere. That means it is occurs everywhere. So it is called it as cosmopolitan. Cosmopolitan that means as I told before, it is lives in air, water, soil, on plants and animals. So it is called it as cosmopolitan. The next one it show heterotrophic nutrition. In heterotrophic nutrition, it show saprophytic nutrition, then symbiotic nutrition, then parasitic nutrition. In symbiotic nutrition, it associated with two things. One is algae and another one is the higher plants. If it is associated with uh, higher plants, that means mycorrhiza. If it is associated with fungi, uh, fungi and algae, that means it is called as lichens. Okay, right. The fungi cell wall is made up of what? Hmm, it's tell me. It is chitin, then polysaccharides. Right, so the cell wall is made up of chitin and polysaccharides. The next one, fungi which show different characters, uh, different char characteristics. Uh, one is useful and harmful. Useful, that means uh, the some fungi are used used for extract the antibiotics. Then some fungi which cause diseases in plants and animals also, and some fungi which spoil the food. Example, uh, I told in the last class, bread mold, uh, then orange rot, then uh, tomato rot. That is I told you. The next one, uh, their body. Fungi body is made up of what? Hypae. Okay. It is long slender like structure. It is called as hypae. Network of hypae is known as mycelium. Network of hypae is known as mycelium. Then there we have two types of hypae. One is aseptate and septate. Septate the way. Septate the tree wall. Which consists wall in between the nucleus. Separate wall. It is septate. A separate tree, there is no wall in between the nucleus. In between the nucleus, there is no separate wall. That means it is A separate. If wall is present, that means it is septate. Then in high plane, we have multinucleated. So it is called the xenocytic, we told. Right. So after that, uh, we have seen about uh, reproduction. Um, fungi, which show different types of reproduction, that is asexual reproduction, sexual reproduction, and vegetative reproduction. Right. In vegetative reproduction, fragmentation, budding, uh, then uh, binary fusion, I told. Then in asexual, it is done by spores. Okay. Conidia, sporangiospores, zoospores. Okay. In sexual method, it uh, reproduces by oospores, ascospores, desdiospores. Okay. It is done reproduction by different way. One is vegetative, asexual, and sexual. Right. So based on the uh, based on the spore formation based on the mycelium it is divided into four classes one is pycomyces ascomyces desdiomyces deuteromyces okay right. then about sexual cycle like uh, actually uh, i told about asexual cycle and the sexual cycle okay in sexual cycle uh, main uh, phases is Plasmogam. First one is plasmogam. That means the protoplasm fused together. So that is plasmogam. Then karyogamy. In karyogamy, two 
nucleus or fuse together it is karyogamy the two stages are very very important in the sexual cycle right then after the plasmogamy karyogamy is happen then what it is it forms zygote single cell okay then meiosis the cell division is happen then haploid cells are produced then the haploid cells deposited in somewhere else and it is getting parallel mechanisms and it is started to grow as a, a new fungi okay this like we have uh, discussed in uh, last class mm, apart from that the spores is produced from the fruiting bodies uh, example uh, uh, sporangiospores which is produced from the sporangium a zoo spores which is produced from the zoo sporangium the sporangium is fruiting body from the fruiting body which is produced okay right so these all the things we have discussed in the last video so kingdom fungi general characteristics i told about that i told the next one the phytomyces Phytomyces, we have explained. Uh, once again, I will recall that it is aquatic, and as well as it is uh, grows in decayed wood also, decayed wood. After that, it is um, what is the mycelium? Uh, how the mycelium is present in the phytomyces? That means uh, it is aseptic, and as well as the Xenocyte. Uh, Xenocyte. That means what? It is multi-nucleate. A septate. That means the wall is not present. Okay. That is the that type of mycelium present in the pygmyces. Then it show asexual, sexual. Uh, in sexual, two gametes are fused together and zygote spore. That means zygote will be formed. If that two gametes, two gametes are fused together, no. that two gametes are similar that means it is isogametes if two gametes dissimilar that means it is anisogametes it is what anisogametes then after that asexual reproduction takes place by zoospore and haploid spore uh, then mycomyces example mucus then rhizomus oh so this like we have seen in the last video today we are going to start with another one class another one class is what astomyces astomyces so first class is what phytomyces second class is astomyces okay astomyces it is sac like fungi it is what sac like fungi the next one it is multicellular that it have multicellular and unicellular multi cellular example penicillium example is penicillium Unicellular examples: yeast. Yeast scientific name is Saccharo Saccharomyces cerevisiae. Saccharomyces cerevisiae. This scientific name of yeast. The scientific name should be underlined. Okay, in the first chapter I told. Uh, because scientific name, we have two names that should be underlined. When it is uh, type, it is italic form. Okay, right. So, as for myself, it is sac like form. Like it is, it show the, it it consists unicellular and multicellular. Multicellular example, Penicillium. Unicellular is yeast. Yeast scientific name is as for myself, Cerevisiae. The next one. it uh, actually all fungi 
it is heterotropic nutrition uh, you know i think uh, it shows saprophyte saprophyte nutrition that mean it is lives on decay uh, matter uh, that mean organic matter decayed organic matter from that it is taking the food the next one it decomposes it decomposes so it is decomposed the next one sometimes it is parasitic parasitic they parasitic you know i think it is uh, lives in uh, lives on living things so it is parasitic from the living uh, things it can get nutrients okay then coprophilus coprophilus the bee can live on uh, dung cow dung so it can live on dung and it show parasitic nutrition and it can decompose the material and it show the saprophytic nutrition okay right then uh, as i told before as i told before uh, based on the mycelium based on the spore formation it is divided into four classes one is phycomycetes ascomycetes basio uh, basio basio mycetes and the next one uh, deutomycetes so here what is the type of mycelium is present in the ascomycetes the mean mycelium is branch as well as septate here branch it is septate but in the phycomyces it is aseptate here septate that mean separate wall present in the mycelium so like this so like this separate wall is present so that's why it is what septate the next one uh, septate and it is branched out so The next, what type of reproduction is present? Asexual. Asexual reproduction. Asexual reproduction. Uh, how it how it is done? By the spores. What type of spore here it will produce? That means, as I told before, three spores are present in the asexual reproduction. That is, zoospores, sporangiospores, then conidia. Here, conidia will be.
it is like a it is what continuous course then here the score will be produced so it is exogenous mean it is present outside of the mycelium the mean protein bodies okay so it is exogenous mean which when the gonidia produced exogenously from the gonidiospore mycelium right the next one it show sexual reproduction also sexual reproduction also here astospores here is what astospores involved uh, in uh, previous one pygomyces what uh, in asexual uh, in asexual reproduction it is done by zoospore and aponospore here asexual done by gonidiospore then sexual which is uh, happen by ascospores that's why it is called as ascomyces okay so uh, in pygomyces also asexual and asexual in uh, ascomyces myces also we have asexual and sexual reproduction the next one it is endogenous here you see gonidia is exogenous like it is like outside endogenous is the thing which is present inside the sac like it the fungi which has sac like structure that is called as ascii from in the ascii what it is produced ascospores so ascospores produced by sac like structure is called ascii here you see here you can see one fruiting body this is called as ascocarp 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 right here we have asci so inside asci we have ascospores ascospores so we have fruiting bodies that is called it as ascocarp in the ascocarp we have asci it is sac like structure it is sac like structure in that we have ascospores from that it is produced then it is deposited in somewhere else and it is grows as a new fungi right the next one example of ascomyces aspergillus aspergillus and clavicles clavicles and neurospora neurospora the neurospora is using um using uh genetic work the neurospora using genetic work in um, in biochemical also so it is used in biochemical uh, in biochemical department as well as in the genetic work which one you use for the next one morals and truffles the both of the edible so morals and truffles it is example for edible as per the transcripts news for some other forms of example of ascomyces so five examples here i have given as per the transcripts news for morals and truffles okay this is about ascomyces so ascomyces that is sac fungi commonly known as sac fungi it is multicellular and unicellular also we have multicellular example penicillium from the penicillin we can extract what antibiotics penicillin right then the unicellular example is yeast 
Saccharomyces cerevisiae is the scientific name of yeast. The next one it shows saccharophyte. Then as well as it decomposes the material and as well as it shows the parasite. Then uh, it is coprophilus. Coprophilus that means it uh, lives on dung. That means it is growing on the dung. Okay. Right. The next one the mycelium is a branch and septate. But in the pyrimidines it is acetate. Okay. Right. Next one uh, here asexual and sexual reproduction is happen. Uh, asexual done by pyrimidia, sexual done by ascospores. Okay. The next one we are going to see. That is basidium mycetes. Okay. So next one, basidium mycetes. Next one is what? Basidium mycetes. So here before we have completed pycomycetes and ascomycetes. Okay, basidiomycetes. Basidiomycetes. Actually, basidiomycetes uh, commonly is known as mushroom. Uh, basidiomycetes. Example is mushroom. Sex organ 
are not present. That means sex organ are absent here, but plasma DNA is not. Plasma DNA is not. Plasma DNA in the sexual cycle, as I told before, plasma DNA that means the protoplasm. What happened? Fused together. So here the first step is. In the sexual cycle, plasma may occur, but there is no sex organ. Due to mycelium which fuse together, then plasma may be what happened? Fused. Uh, as I said before, plasma may be that means what? Protoplasm will fuse. Then followed by what happened? Uh, now plasma may be happened. Now. It is dicaryotic. It is what dicaryotic. Mm, here you see. This is 
sexual reproduction so here in basiomyces we show asexual reproduction and sexual reproduction did you understand this right first one plasmogamy then karyogamy then basidium will be formed then the basidium will produce basidiospores it is present outside so it is what exogenously basidium present on the basidiocarps it is floating body Example is muscle. Example is muscle. Here I am right. It gives rise to basidium. Basidium. Then karyogamy present. Karyogamy happen. Then meiosis. Okay. Then it is produced for basidio. Which is so genius. The basidium present on basidium cells. Okay, so plasmogamy, dikaryote, which give rise to basidium, basidium. Then basidium, what it is having? Two nucleus or joint together. So karyogamy is having. Then zygote will be formed. Meiosis happens. Then basidium cells are produced in the exogenously. The basidium present on basidio. So this is the sexual reproduction. Example is muscle. Astil, astilego, then vaccinia. Astilego and vaccinia. So this is about basidio cells. I think uh, I hope you all understood that. It is basidio cells in general muscle. Right from there, of course, it is within soil, long stem stems, long the long the feet decompose wood. Okay, sometimes it is present in the plant plant body, which cause this is a rust and movement. The stilego, which cause rust in the plant body. Okay, the main thing is branch and the septate. The next one, asexual reproduction, sexual reproduction. The next one we are going to see what eutomyces. Next one, this eutomyces. Discover sexual reproduction in this form, right? 
Examples alternaria, alternaria ni, polito trigon, polito trigon, trigon derma, trigon trigon derma. So alternaria polito trigon trigon derma is example for biochromosomes. In this fungi, if sexual reproduction they will discover, they will keep it where as you. Desmomyces have ascomyces. Okay. Uh, what is the mycelium type? That means it is branch. It is branch and septic. So in the four classes, mycomyces and ascomyces, desmomyces and buchomyces, only one. Is aseptic. Only one thing is aseptic. That is pycomyces. Rest of the things, a ascomyces and vesbiomyces uh, and neuromyces, uh, all are branch than septate. Okay, right. What are the uses of neuromyces? That means helping cycling in minerals, recycling in.